Now we want to turn to NASCAR superstar Tony Stewart. Back on the track last night for the first time since his car struck and killed another driver three weeks ago. Fans welcomed him back, but the race did not go off without a hitch. And ABC's Gio Benitez is here with that story. We wish you good morning, Gio. Good morning to you, Larry. You know, Stewart starting off strong, but then setback after setback. The NASCAR champ only making it a little more than halfway through the race, ending in 41st place. So many wondering if a grieving Stewart could race at all. Tony Stewart! Overnight, Tony Stewart returning to the racetrack to rousing applause and thunderous cheers from fans. Whoa, into the wall! The NASCAR greats race, ending early at the Atlanta Motor Speedway Sunday night, hitting the wall not once, but twice, driving his battered race car, number 14, to the garage, but not speaking with reporters. It's very disappointing. It's obviously his, his first week back. We were hoping for bigger things. All lies on Stewart, the 43-year-old choosing to return to racing just three weeks after he struck and killed 20-year-old Kevin Ward Jr. on a dirt track in upstate New York. This video of Ward's final moments still haunting many. The investigation into the crash still underway. Why not wait till the investigation is complete and then come back to the sport you love? Stewart emotionally speaking out about the incident for the first time on Friday. Yeah, this is been one of the toughest tragedies I've ever had to deal with. Stewart reading from a prepared personally. statement and not taking questions from reporters about the crash that killed Ward. I want Kevin's father, Kevin Sr., and his mother, Pam, and his sisters, Christy and Kayla and Caitlin, to know that every day I'm thinking about them and praying for them. Stewart spent the last few days practicing for the Atlanta race, placing in the top 20 in both practice sessions. But this morning, as the cloud of investigation looms over him, the question, should Stewart be racing at all? Getting into the routine, a routine that he's known since he was eight years old, was exactly what he needed. And police tell ABC News the investigation could last another two weeks. So far, Stewart has not been charged with any crime. But guys, still three weeks later, so many questions. Yeah, tough situation on all sides. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gio.